Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. This is a very special video because in this video I am going to tell you where you can find the data sets for your Power BI practice or if you would like to create very stunning Power BI dashboards so where you can get the data. Many of you have already asked me so many times that you need my data set, my .pbx files or you always ask me from where you can get the data for creating your Power BI dashboards and all. In this video, I'm going to let you know some of the very useful websites where you can get the data sets that you are looking for. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. So guys, the very first website where you can look for your data is the Microsoft website where you can find the AdventureWorks sample databases. On this website, you can find a lot of databases over there, which are ranging from 2012 to 2019, as well as you can find the Data Warehouse, OLTP or their lightweight versions. So whichever source for you, you can use it. Not only that, on this website, you can go down and you can find the ways how you can restore to SQL Server or what are the different steps that you can deploy to Azure SQL Database or deploy to database from SQL Server. Also, how to create a scripts and other details are mentioned on this website. So please do go there and check this out. Another advantage of using this, you can download free version of SQL Server Data Management Studio and over there, you can use these datasets. If you already have SQL Server, then there is no problem. But if you don't have and you want to install the SQL Server, you can download free developer edition from the Microsoft website. So the another favorite of mine is the Kaggle. So you can go on the Kaggle website, you will find the whole sets of data sets over there. And there you can find whether it's a healthcare or it's a financial or any other kind of data sets. So as you can see now on your screen, these all are the data sets which you can use it or you can just click on this data sets and there you will find a large number of data sets. So you can download whichever you would like to use. Now we are going to move to my third best option that I would like to use if I'm not going to use first two. The third one is countries data. So data.worldbank.org is the organization that has these data sets which you can use at any point of time. You can search whichever you want by the countries or the economies and then you can start using them. For example, if I want a data set from the Austria, I can just click over here and you will find these GDP, population, total and so many other details which you can further go into the details and you can download those data sets. So the fourth one is over here which is Google public data, it's a directory from the Google and you can also utilize data sets from here. Now we are going to move to the next one. Next one is from Singapore. The next two data sets we are going to discuss right now are from the Singapore government. As you know, currently I'm living and working in Singapore and I can definitely use them. So one is singstat.gov.sg. You can come over here and you will see, you will find the different data sets over here. For example, manufacturing, you can click over here. Then you will come down and you will find the different options over here. And here you will go to this one, download all in Excel. So that's how you can get these data sets as well. Now let's go one step further on Department of Statistics in Singapore. And now there is a link where you will see all the international links. You can find all the statistics from all the bodies over the world. And here you can see all the international bodies are over here, including your the World Bank and World Health Organization. You can click any of the link, you will read out on their website and from their website, you can download the data. And if you are looking for national statistical offices around the world for different countries like Australia, Bangladesh, Brunei, Cambodia, China, Fiji, Hong Kong, India, etc. You can go to their respective websites and you can download the data from there. That data you can use to create your Power BI dashboards and reports and you can explore more and more data over there. 
For example, if I click on World Health Organization WHO website, let me open in another link over here. And now we are over here. So you will find this link data, click on this and there data at WHO. You have to go there, click on global health estimates. Now there you will find all the information regarding this. So now what we have to do, we have to find our data, how to get this data. So let's go down and here you will find a link. If you need to access the old global health observatory data, you can do it here. But before you have, please provide us feedback about our new data portal. So just click on here and here you can enter your email address and feedback. So now as you can see, once you are going to submit, it's going to give you this portal and over here you will find the different data. So you can click any of the link, for example, body mass index, I'm clicking over here and here the different sections are going to appear. So over here, once again, you can click any of this, like this one, and then you will see there again, the links are appearing over here. So click any of the link. And now we have everything in front of us. I know it's a bit a longer process, but this is the way it is. And it's for the WHO, but if you would like to go to any other website, you can go that. And here you can download file into CSV table, XML, JSON, or any other format. So that's how you can get all the data you require to build your amazing Power BI dashboard and reports. Another one is also from the Singapore government website, which is data.gov.sg. And here you will find another data set. So you can also explore this website for new data sets. Lastly, we are going to talk about the Statista. It's another website. So let's go over there. You will see there are the different industries over here and if you would like to search you can search as well but right now i just want to have a look about the farming so let's click on this farming one so guys once you are on this website you can go down and you can click on the different options which are available over here for example i click on this smart agriculture and over here you will see other information is available now either you can directly go to the report where you will find the PPT and PDF information over here. Otherwise, you can go back and then you can find other options as well from where you can download this. For example, I'll click on this market overview and I'm over here. Let's click on this over here. And now you can download either PDF, Excel, PNG or PPT, whichever you want. You can also sign up for free. So just try to explore the different options. So that's how guys, there are so many data sets available over the internet and not only this, you can go to the US websites like US traffic data or US restaurants data or similar to this and you would easily be able to find those data sets. Overall, please don't wait for me to reply on the comments. You are wise enough and I'm sure if I can do it, you can do it. And if you really want to use Power BI and you want to do practice and you want that data set, then I'm sure you can Google it, you can search it and you can start using it. Please let me know your thoughts over it in the comment section. I hope you liked today's video. If you have any question or concern, you can comment in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates.